34 years old, having this business is something else. Were you from a restaurant business or uh, family no, business? I, I'm not really a business a businessman. Mm -hmm. You know, to, to make the restaurant, it took me like two years. The planning was like okay. exactly two years. You know, it's not an easy thing. You can see the restaurant, it's two floors. Uh, basically, almost everything we explore for, we uh, import from China. Almost everything, the tables, the have you seen the setup of the table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the table, it, it's not only that it has a barbecue or a soup, it has also exhaust fan. So where that, uh, you know, the, the smoke, it will go inside the table and then from down it will be fresh air. Mm -hmm. So it will go through the, um, uh, it will go through the three or four uh, filters. One is charcoal filter for the smell. One is the electro uh, electrostatic filter for the bacteria and one is cotton filter. So having this kind of uh, restaurant like hot pot, mm. do you think it's expensive? A requirement is not the same as the regular restaurant okay, because see. of the uh, uh, gadgets, because of the specialized table that you have, right? Uh, okay, you know, to open a restaurant in this time, it's a complete suicide, especially in Corona time. Yeah. So we are very lucky because- that's my Part of my question is that. Okay, that's, that's the thing because yeah. If you really uh, open a restaurant now, it's not really a good idea, especially in this in this time. It's not really easy at all. But what what I mean is that when you do a brand, you know there are a lot of restaurants in UAE, and you you cannot compete with them. When it comes to the Filipino restaurant, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, restaurants. Yeah. That, you know, it, it you you will need like three four years to make your own brand to Correct. prepare yourself with them. Mm -hmm. Because Correct. now when people they are going to the Filipino restaurant, you guys you know already what kind of restaurant you are going. You trust them. <clears throat> so when I want to make, if I want to make a Filipino restaurant or any other concept, it will take some time to, you know, to click to work. So um, what I did here in the restaurant, I tried to combine the, the three things, which is the, the one I told you, the main th things, the quality, the quantity and the value. So when I say the, the quality, the quality of the food that you are getting, uh, the quantity, that you have open buffet, like you have a lot of variety. We have more than 101 items to choose from, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the value is the value for the money you are paying. Mm -hmm. It's not that you are paying money and then you are not getting a uh, service. <coughs> so you are paying the, this much amount, you are, you will get this much uh, food. Yeah, a lot of choices and uh, you know, it's unlimited. You guys, you tried it and I'm sure you are very happy, right? So yeah, that's the three things. That's great. So you have this uh, three, uh, quality, I mean, the uh, three important things of opening a restaurant. Yes. So you don't have any fear of, uh, you know, opening this, the doors during this period, the pandemic period? Uh, yeah, but that's what I'm telling you. It's a complete suicide when you yeah. uh, decide to make not only a restaurant, a business in general. Okay. But when you are confident of, of what you are doing and you are sure that this kind of business is going to work, mm. especially in, in the location and a lot of things, actually. It's not only one thing. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not only like, uh, I just want to make a restaurant and I make and it's the second great. It took me two years. We, yeah, we were here. Planning from scratch, the locations, the concept, the items. I'm not a Chinese and that's a, almost a Chinese restaurant, right? Yeah. There is no Chinese here. Did you choose other um, variation or other kinds of uh, restaurants before coming up with this uh, hot pot? Do you have any? Uh, I didn't come from. Uh, you just directly think that it's going to be hot pot restaurant. It's uh, something unique. It's something that I like actually. You know, I before I open the restaurant, I get used to eat the hot pot almost every week. Mm -hmm. uh, shabu, you call it shabu shabu, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I don't want to eat anymore. <laughs> I'm eating every day before. <laughs> okay, but so. But yeah, that's something that I really like. Uh -huh. I know all these items by heart. I, the names I might not know because most of them they're Chinese names, right? Yeah. But all of them I know them by heart. I yeah. like it. <laughs> you have tried your products very well. So, uh, what other things that make your restaurant unique from the other hot pot uh, restaurants all over UAE or particularly here in Dubai? Okay, that's a secret. This <laughs> garden, I think. This no, garden. See, the garden is very important. Yeah. Okay, see. Um, if you're talking about the secret, yeah. uh, there are a lot of factors. I cannot tell you exactly one thing. Uh, basically, we are three partners who are doing the restaurant. It's okay. not 100% uh, okay. mine. So each and every uh, one of us, we are doing a unique job. Like for me, I am doing the operation-wise and doing the marketing. 
So when I'm talking about the marketing, we are spending a lot of money for the marketing team. Mm-hmm. Like uh, maybe average hundred. So you put a, you you put a real budget in marketing. Yeah. That's part. Yeah. Right. That's what other businesses do not understand. Not only the marketing. Exactly, because no one will pay. Yeah. No one likes to pay. Everyone likes to get money. Yeah. But no one wants to pay. <laughs> but see. Uh, I do have a marketing year for a marketing company for the last 10 years. Okay. I do marketing for many different uh, brands. Brands. So when you're talking about marketing, marketing it's, it has two, uh, two let's say two ways of marketing. There is a branding marketing yeah. where you you don't you are not expecting an immediate uh, result. Respo- oh, yeah. Okay. It's like you know when you're doing for the big brands like Coca-Cola, Correct. whatsoever. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. These guys they are not waiting for someone to immediately you know buy their products. They are just doing uh, uh, branding for the next years. Yeah. Like you know when you hear in the TV that. Uh, all the time advertising about Coca-Cola and here and when you want to drink something you will just go to the restaurant or to the supermarket and you just say Coca-Cola. Yeah. I mean maybe you might mean Coca-Cola, you might, maybe you mean 7-Up uh, or another but then the drink, a competitor, you, it's yeah. like you know the detergent mm. in your country. How, how do you call the detergent in your country? The, the detergent, the washing powder. Uh, detergent, laundry soap or I know what? No, when you go to the, the, the supermarket, uh, wait, wait, what I know do you what ask? you mean. I, I mean, you're not saying it's a toothpaste, but we're saying it's a Colgate. Exactly. In yeah. my country, you say Ariel. <laughs> yeah. In detergent, so Ariel means saying, detergent. It's yeah. like uh, this. Uh, like, uh, uh, what's uh, Ajax name? or Tide. 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 Maybe, yeah. Actually, Tide, Tide and Ariel is the when same. When we come thing. to a, a grocery, Give we're not te- we're not telling them that we can. Can we buy shampoo? No. Exactly. Can we buy palm olive? Something like so that. So this is called branding. Okay. I never work in branding. Yeah. Because branding, this is for the big companies. Okay. So recently, we, we just started to do the branding thing. Okay. So there is a branding and there is also the other way of the marketing. It's the immediate result. You spend one dirham in the marketing, you get two dirham. Correct. This is the basic thing, right? So when, when it comes to the most of the companies here in Dubai, they don't spend either for branding or for the yes yeah that's the saddest part of it because we are working as you know we want to promote you like at this point this is actual that uh, we came here to help you promote your newly uh, introduced brand so there are really uh, uh, businesses in here that doesn't that doesn't put any um, effort on marketing and that's the uh, it's the marketing and a lot of factors not only one thing if you want me to tell you why we are six, we are only open two months, by the way. Yeah. And we made a big boom here, in, not only right. in Dubai, in almost all the, the Emirates. A lot of reservation. You know, right now we don't accept reservation, yeah. only walk-in. We were here for a couple of hours. We witnessed how Filipinos come and go. But so you know, what, you came what time? What do you think? Ramadan. What do you think is After the after one hour you will not be able to stand up here? <laughs> yeah. What do you think is this the 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 best ingredient of your restaurant? That you know, Filipinos are well spenders. You know. Yeah. You you mentioned it. Why is it that we come and is it because of the garden? Is it because of the uh, you know the food? Or is because your handsomeness or I don't work <laughs> is it because I, I don't work of here. the location that a good location, strategic one that you have? Uh, no, the location, believe me, it's yes, it's it uh, the location is important, but in our restaurant is not. I, I have clients from JLT, from Al Barsha. So when you talk about the location, let's keep it aside. So it's not yeah. the location. It's a lot of things. I cannot tell you exactly why we are doing well. Yeah. We are doing very well from the time we started. Um, a lot of things, the marketing, the, the planning, the, the food itself, all our food is fresh. So when you try our food, you will have to come again because mm. we are serving a lot of varieties that any other competitors here, they don't. Mm. Like we have salmon. I don't I think any that. of the hot pot restaurant here in UAE they have salmon. Okay. We have fresh um, uh, shrimp, we have the clams. We have a lot of things. Okay. So you can cook by yourself or you can even choose from our uh, cooked items. So I don't know. Maybe I would like to invite all the Filipinos in UAE to try our restaurant. Uh, our restaurant is located in um, at uh, Burjuman uh, exit uh, one. If you're coming from the metro, just next to Rag Bank. We are fire restaurant. You will find a lot of uh, varieties here. Yeah, our place is very Instagrammable for the people who are doing TikTok. And birthdays. And we have uh, VIP rooms for the parties, uh, any celebration for the best day, anniversary. Okay, thank you very much uh, and uh, thanks for having us here. It's a very wonderful dining experience again in Virgin One and more power to your business. Thank you. Thank you very much.